Welcome. Welcome to this course for the Cambridge University e-learning program and welcome from Maddingley Hall's Institute of Continuing Education where this course is based. But welcome also to your experience of something truly extraordinary, ancient Greece in the 5th century BC. Ancient Greece 2600 years ago is not just a time and a place, it is also a state of mind, and that state of mind can be described with just two words. Question everything. For here, in the 5th century before Christ, human mental evolution is in the process of a startling breakthrough. For the first time, people are learning to think of the world as a sort of organic machine and to realize that there are huge, and as yet barely comprehended, benefits to be won from understanding how the machine works. It is a quest which we still continue today. And, just as the physical remains of ancient Greece fill the modern landscape of the country, so our mental landscape has been built upon the structure of ideas which were created in Greece at this time. At no other time, and in no place anywhere in history, has so great a concentration of intellectual power been gathered. Ancient Athens can laugh scornfully at Renaissance Florence, Augustan Rome, or 19th century Paris. Here in Athens, theatre and history were invented. Art and architecture were brought to breathtaking new heights. New experiments turned philosophy, geometry, and democracy into working practical forms. And yet, the men behind these developments were not isolated geniuses. They knew each other. They met in the marketplace and symposiums, and sometimes fought shoulder to shoulder in battle. Ancient Greece and Athens are fascinating for another reason. Even as the new ideas took hold, the old ideas were fighting for survival. Sometimes the ancient Greeks seem almost contemporary in their ideas and attitudes. Then, as we read further, we realize exactly how alien they were, with thought processes that are almost impossible for anyone with a modern mindset to follow. This course will give an overview of the main facets of the intellectual developments of the 5th century. And though the course is focused on Athens, it will frequently follow ideas to the source of the inspiration, and this, as often as not, means going, like Odysseus, out over the waters of the Aegean and among the islands of Ionia. Among the topics which you will find covered in these short multimedia clips during the course are the Trojan War, the Persians, Greek clothing, a guide to the Agora, the structure of a Greek theatre, the Greek gods, and Greek warfare. Remember that what you see in these clips is a reconstruction of the general atmosphere rather than a depiction of the latest academic research. Where accuracy is needed, such as for this picture of a Greek house, you will be told that this is the case and what to look for. Here, for example, I am wearing a short chiton, which is a type of tunic, and a hymaton, a cloak, taking care that it covers my left shoulder, since only barbarians leave that uncovered. However, if you want to be picky, the chiton should be longer and the hymaton less fancy. But hey, they're my clothes and I like them. I'm also wearing sandals, even though many 5th century Greeks went their whole lives barefoot. But with this course, images and reconstructions can only take us so far, because in the 5th century, the really exciting things were not happening in the Agora, on the battlefield, or in the temples. They were happening inside the heads of the extraordinary people who reinvented our perception of the world. And there are no pictures for that. Fortunately, those who made these discoveries were generally only too eager to tell the world about them. 
so we will, at times, have the privilege of reading, even if in translation, the actual words of Thucydides, Solon, and Sophocles, and hearing the opinions of their contemporaries, such as the scatological Aristophanes, who, if he were not a classical writer, would probably be banned from most library bookshelves. So, grab your cloaks and head for the assembly of the people beside the Agora. The revolution is about to begin.